the kick serve. Often people ask me, Steve, you never get around to teaching the kick serve. Well, we're teaching developmental tennis. We're teaching younger players quite often. Think about Little League Baseball. In Little League Baseball, they don't pitch nine innings because of the prevention of injury. Uh, but no, you definitely want to get around to teaching the, the, the three different serves. Basically, you're going to hit a flat serve, you're going to hit a slice serve, and you're going to hit a topspin serve. And certainly, just like hitting a topspin ground stroke. Think of it this way. To hit topspin, you have to go low to high to swing upward and hit the ball with a vertical racket face. So you have to do the same thing when you hit a, a topspin serve. You're going to go low to high and hit the ball with a vertical racket face. The ball doesn't know it's being hit by a, a forehand or a serve. Now, when it comes down to hitting a kick serve, just like being in a rally and someone's going to hit a high arcing ground stroke, someone hits a, a loop, an arcing shot, they'll, I should say looper, they're going to arc it, they'll go up this way. When you hit a serve, say if I was serving this direction, I'm going to crease the upward angle where the racket actually goes in the direction of the baseline. You go out this way. Um, years ago, Dennis Vandermeer used to have players choke up on the racket, toss just the, into the left a little bit, and then they would turn the racket out, hyperpronate, and bring the racket behind their back. Um, Mark Dixon was here the other day, and he was teaching the serve, former world-class player. Brad Gilbert said, when you play, they have the best second serve in the game. He actually tells players to serve and actually feel like they're hitting a topspin lob and let the racket go back in this direction and then go out and practice that. Of course, do everything off pace, do everything very lightly because, again, it comes back to injury. When you think of what makes a ball bounce high, a ball has three physical characteristics upon impact, speed, spin, trajectory. I'm always asking players, what bounces higher? Top spin and underspin. Of course, the player is going to say top spin. The initial bounce is underspin. What makes a ball bounce high is trajectory. Just go out, take a ball, hit as high as you can in the air, and that ball is going to bounce and it's going to land very, very high. So, when someone is hitting a slice serve, and we'll, we'll come back to all three of these on the court, but what you're going to do is bypass the side of the ball. If it was a clock, it's like you're hitting at three o'clock. A face, you're just it's a glancing blow to the ear and then the racket turns off to the side. Think of taking a, a cue ball, you're playing billiards, playing eight ball, and you take the cue ball and you hit the eight ball. You hit it on the side, and then the ball is going to slice off in this direction. So at three o'clock, if you're hitting a flat serve, you're just going to take the racket and go right to the middle from six to twelve. It's still the same motion, continental grip, throwing motion, but when you come up to strike the ball, you actually swing directly towards the back of the ball. Then when you hit a topspin serve, you're going to go from 7 to 1 in this position. It'd be like taking a soccer ball and you're going to hit the ball with your head. You get slightly underneath it and then you go across the ball this way. So again, that's a brief introduction to the spin serve, slice, and topspin as well as flat.